Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 4 Golden today. Start over. Am I recording? I am. All right. One, two, three. Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona. One, two, three. Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 4 Golden today. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think we can go eat at Aya's. But first, there's more. No, but first, let's go up to the roof. Oh, it's raining out. Right. That's why we're going to go eat there, because it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's a rain of men. And then we're going to eat there and get some stats up. I know we need, was it knowledge, extra knowledge to actually beat the thingamabob, the beat the challenge. But... Oh, we get to watch the television tonight, don't we, right? Because it's going to be raining tonight. How much money do I have? Well, hopefully we get our next... Uh, I guess I can just go back into the TV land to actually... One, look for those those items that we have side quests for. And two, level up and get some money. I could start working the daycare job more often. But I can't do it when it's raining. You still can't say okay, I'm probably not gonna win this one, right? The Oh, understanding and knowledge can fully pace. I don't think I have an advanced knowledge yet. Yeah. At least I'm getting some points. Oh, you don't you don't get understanding here, just diligence. And uh the other two. Okay. I thought you got all of them. But still, 3,000 for three stat points? That's not bad. It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? Absolutely not. I love Thunderstorm. And that's not a joke. Like, I am a huge fan of uh, Thunderstorms. I would like to go to my stats. So, if you'd mind, controller, I know I'm rapidly pushing you, but stop, stop going past. How do I get my... There. So we don't get understanding. We don't get expression either. Um, we've leveled up knowledge and courage. Oh, we have midterms. Oh, no. Well, shoot. Work at home. Spent with Nanako. Oh, I'd probably spend it with Nanako then. I would love to read, but let's spend it with Nanako. Hey. Wait. No. So, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to make you sad. I need... Are you justice? You're justice. Do I have a justice card? I don't think I do. Uh, let's see. I know I want to go here. So that's fool, strength, temperance, chariot, sun, magician. What do I need? I need magician, obviously. Sun, chariot. I don't think we need temperance yet. Strength we need. So we probably get rid of the fool card. We need hero font. Oh, an Aeon. I'm not gonna be able to get them all. I have. To... I don't think I'm gonna be able to go. The Jima hero font. Maybe these rank up automatically. I could only hope. I actually like the way I like that hat. I like the way she looks. Um, crap! I have a sun card. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go see if I can actually make a justice persona. Uh, Marie's gone. Please don't, please don't advance my time. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. If you're looking for Marie, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Uh, an errand? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. Oh, what is that? She must have dropped it. Chuckle. Seems a piece of paper belongs to Marie. Uh, you notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Ah! Wait, no! 
Marie frankly snatches the paper away from you. Grrr. What is this? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? Uh, maybe I did. Huh? You're oh, stupid. I hate you, sneaky, jerky, you bully. Were you voted the official asshole of <laughs> Asshole-vania? Marie is blushing furiously. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an interesting reaction. Is that is what on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Excuse velvet me now. Room. Once again, welcome to the velvet room. Welcome my butt. That was close. Marie turns to a seat and fidgets restlessly. All right. I, uh, I just came here to fuse personas. But messing with Marie, I guess, is a nice side effect. So, if we can get a justice for uh, fusing Fool with Temperance, we can't, we can get a hero font. I mean, that's horrifying, but also, I guess, good, too. And I get a justice for anything. Archangel. Or Pixie. I would need to buy... Strength in Magician again, which I don't even know I can if I can afford right now, which kind of is awful. I register these. They must have already been done. How much do they cost? So Pixie's not too bad. Where's my uh, strength card? Oh, I could buy just ain't oh, I'll fuse it. New ones are better. That's a lot of money for a Valkyrie, but she's better than Sandman. Alright, 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 alright. Use here. Bonus stats. That's that's great. I actually didn't mean to do that here. You. To you. Yes. What is this ability? Because you probably want that. If this... And I guess this, because your attack's pretty crap. Yeah. You learned Poison Mist, too. And I, I can't skip that, thank god. <laughs> I am Omoe Kane. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, you guys watch Futurama? Do I get extra stats, though? Strength and magic. Magic seemed really good for you. Poison Mist seems interesting, though. Alright, next we are going to fuse you with you, which will give us that guy, which gives us Double Fang. Oh, and, well, an insta-kill. We're weak to darkness, but nullify light. This guy's pretty badass, actually. I guess we'll take... We're gonna learn... The group healing effect soon, so let's just take wind and ice. Yes. Hopefully we get a level up. Then I need a... By strength? I did give him. Hey! Strength and magic. That's good. He has double thing. Hey! Nice. Awesome. Okay, cool. This guy's probably gonna be my main dude then. Because of double thing. Then I guess I just gotta purchase my, uh... My strength and my... Magician back? That's gonna be a lot of money. Oh, do you wanna just talk to me? Hey. Won't you listen to my troubles? I have a little one named Aki Haiko. Or Hiko. But lately he's... Didn't you, didn't you already talk? You already to, told me this stuff. Oh, okay. So this is addition, additional stuff? 
The fish in the tank suddenly begins to swim about in a lively manner. Ah. Akihiko, what's wrong? That's your... That's your son? Lady... Hey, one, what's with that tattoo on your shoulder? What does that even mean? Or, or is that just like a conveniently shaped birthmark mole thing? It seems you he it seems he wants to eat that Tetsui Himi ladybug you have. Please, won't you let my little one eat that bug? He won't eat the breadcrumbs I give him at this rate. He'll Please, my little one is the only emotional support I have. I'm begging you. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. You're so kind. I wouldn't mind if you attempted to flirt with me now. Haha, <laughs> that's only a little joke. Don't take everything so seriously. Now, here's your dinner, Kiko. My god, this is a fish hook! Akihiko, where did you eat something like this? So my boy had a fish hook stuck in his throat. That's why he seemed so down. My, thank goodness. I'm sure he'll, eat, he'll get better now. You maybe want to feed him things that aren't breadcrumbs. Like go to the pet store and get some fish food. I have a fish hook. I know a man that's looking for a fish hook. I'm glad you're all better now, Akihiko. Here, have some breadcrumbs. Make sure to chew 20 times before you swallow. The fish in the tank completely ignores the breadcrumbs. Sheesh. Now he's all better, he's getting carried away with making extravagant demands. <laughs> I knew a man like that too. Uh, do you want some breadcrumbs? I'll give them to you if you want. Thanks. I'll give you more breadcrumbs if you bring some Tetsuhimi ladybugs, my little one. Okay. Um. Can you just go buy freaking fish food? Maybe go to the pet store that poor fish can actually eat. That's messed up, girl. Why are you feeding it breadcrumbs? I know some fish aren't picky and will eat breadcrumbs. I know, like... Like, birds are finding breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, I wanted to check the rest of this area too before I, before I head back home. Hello? Lady in white. Dots. I came to offer my fuda to celebrate my child's seventh birthday. However, I'm so hungry I can't even walk. It is truly shameful. Do you have any red goldfish you could spare? Nope. See you later. You're also new. So apparently, so fish, maybe get red goldfish. Also, hold up, red goldfish. Then why didn't you just call it a red fish and not goldfish? Cronus is just a different type of goldfish. I know, but if it's red and not gold, why not just call it a red fish? But that's a, not a goldfish. It's a different breed. Now look. Isn't there just a general name for a goldfish, too? Like, a different name? They could just name it something different. I'm going home. There's nothing here except that lady in white. Did I check the riverbank? Yes, I did. Let's go home. And hang out with Nanako. But when are we going to get this thing? Because I feel like we should be farming here. That might not actually be a thing, but I want to. Nanako, I just summoned a demon angel, and now I can hang out with you. Uh, damn right she does. You see this angel thing? He's awesome. Uh, you spend a precious moment with Nanako. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. I'm a good big brother. Right, okay, it wasn't raining. Uh, today's Sunday, so you don't have to go to school. I wonder what'll... When will, okay, that's great. First midterm start tomorrow! Uh, hopefully no one calls. Damn it. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Yeah, I could tell by the voice. Thank you, though. You been hanging out with me today for a while? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. No. <sighs> 
Fine, 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 I will. Yeah. Great. See you soon. Damn it. You're lucky I like you, Chie. I don't have any money anyways, but I could have worked, I guess. I'm not sure if you can work on Sunday. Did a train with Chie. All right. All right, today's the day. He's enthusiastic as always. Nanako's here as well. Huh? Yo! Oh, Nanako-chan! What are you doing? Not uh, training, of course. Hmm. Training? Who are you fighting with, GA? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Myself, I guess. Uh, just kidding. That's that was a call for help, not a not a joke. Wow, cool. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Oh, a grasshopper! Huh? huh? No, no way! Where? Are you afraid? Oh, it's on your butt. Just landed on your back. <coughs> You're afraid of bugs, huh? Get it off! Get it off! Nanako took the grasshopper off of Ochie's back. You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything thin, with thin jointed legs, or anything creepy or squirmy. Ah, now I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You're like Yukiko. Oh, see, because Yukiko will find this fine around bugs. But me, I'm t I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? It's very feminine. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a... Like... It's... I think... I think it is kind of cute. That's fine. But doesn't sh her, like, inner self have a thing with her not being feminine enough? Would she take that as a compliment? It sounds like I'm, like, putting her down, to be quite honest, when I say it that way, but... Uh... It it's cute. I don't have enough coverage. Fine, you know, I don't have enough courage to say that, but it's very feminine. Huh? Th that's not true. I have enough courage to say that, really. It's not. I kind of figured you would actually like that, though. That doesn't sound like a compliment. A lot of the kids in my class don't like bugs. It's just, it's not just you, don't worry. <laughs> Nanako chan, oh, you don't know how happy that makes me, thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with this, with form. I'll teach you, Kata. Sure. You spent Nanako, you sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sixy, uh, sissy next to Nanako-chan. All I have to do is think of them as shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. <laughs> I, I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose the shadows. Sweet, now I just need to hang out with her. Oh! Okay, apparently not. This was hanging out with her. Follow up, attack your mouse. Sweet. When you knock down an enemy in battle, an ally will sometimes follow up. Cool. I need to hang out with the party more, don't I? Still feel like we're in the throes of the beginning of the game where I'm still trying to get. Like, a lot of the just exploring done of the town. Now I guess she seems to be lost in her thought. Ask her what's up. Wait for this. Hey, what's up? Um, well... Oh, I need to turn up auto skip. Not a go fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. Dope. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. We could go put it on our grave. That might... I mean, the first option... Hmm, okay. So, her mother is dead. Died in a car crash, was it? Was it a car crash? That sounds really familiar, so I'm going to go with that. 
What was an accident? Maybe I'm just assuming it's a car crash. Uh, let's give them to your dad. That would work, too. Give them to me. I like flowers, sure. Uh, yeah, you can give them to them. Give them to her, though. Huh? Oh, you mean the family altar? Dad always puts food there. He said it gets to Mom in heaven. Do you think my flowers will get to her, too? By that logic, I would assume so. I did a really good job on mine. My teacher said <laughs> they were pretty, too. I wonder if my mom will be happy to get them. Sure. I, I meant more like the grave, but you sure. should make a flower, too, big bro. She's not my mom. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. I mean, I guess I could mail mine to my mother if she's still alive. Now I go taught you how to make an origami flower. We did it! Woo! Wait, is my mom dead too? Baby? What did everyone do today? Or tonight? Studied at home, went to bed, spent with the Dojima. Studied at home, read at home, spent with the Dojima. Well, I have a hero font card now, so maybe I could go spend it with Dojima. I should probably read a book or study as well. I don't think there's going to be a chance for me to level up my knowledge even more before tomorrow, right? When midterms start. I mean, there is a chance, but we just leveled it up not too long ago. Let's go spend it with Dojima. Nanako's asleep? Alright. Did you and Nanako make the flowers on the family altar? Oh yeah, it was Mother's Day. Thanks! Hey! Oh, uh, well, maybe that wasn't the right line. I don't consider myself an old man just yet, but when it comes to high schoolers, I don't know what to talk about. Oh, okay, never mind. Screw you then, Dojima. You could just ask me how school's going. Sure, yes. Be well known among my peers or students. I don't know what that means. I guess just be popular. Cool. That's three points. That's not bad. Didn't level up, but I mean, like I said, it did just level up a few days ago. Your first midterm begins today and continues to Thursday. You should hurry the school so you can suffer quickly. Hmm. Morning! Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Have you studied for them? I think we studied together at one point. Can you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? But even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's gonna just keep going on and on and on. I never really freaked out about exams too much. I never, I was, well, I did get fairly good grades. I guess I can't say I was never that good at exams. I, I never failed anything, and I was usually on. And I just feel like I'm bragging, so let's change the subject. Midterms, day one. What was it called when muscles grow after exercise? I think that was an overcompensation, right? Dots. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. I should have saved for this. What is the uh, what is the year before 1 AD called? It was like 1 BC, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Because there's no zero. Is that it for today? Nice. Midterms, day two, Electric Boogaloo. Which of these types of numbers does not exist? Uh, marriage numbers. Who translated uh, I love you as the beautiful, the moon is beautiful, isn't it? 
Oh, crap. Um, it's Natsumi, right? The name sounds way familiar than the other ones. Though, actually, I think we saw Shishimi Futabati as well. Actually, we might have saw the third one as well. I remember commenting on Natsumi, though. That might I might have commented on it, though, because of the video game. Yeah, okay, I think it's I think it's that one. Yeah, goddamn right it is. Midterms, day three! Oh, it's that creepy looking bastard. Who said as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? I have no goddamn idea. Yeah, I'm drawing nothing on any of these. Alright, it's this one. Yeah, I, I cheated. Which of the following is the highest amount in the soul system? Not that one, not that one. Thing. Wait, is it Olympus? Mount Everest is not the highest one. And this one... These two don't even seem familiar. This one? Yeah! Nope. Oh, another exam? The last day of the exam. You are familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. Sweet. Okay. Now, okay, if it's like Persona 5, that last part is going to be based off our knowledge stat. It's finally over. Oh, it's just Ooh, beginning, Yosuke. A load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. I don't know that question. Crap. Put the rice cakes on top of the table. What? Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? <laughs> all right, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Uh, Mount, yeah, Olympus Mons. Ah, seriously? <laughs> I chose the wrong one. Oh, Chi, are you gonna fail? Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you two? And it's probably the right answer. Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. I'm looking forward to it. Jeez. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A okay. friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes? I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? That's a good question. Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? What? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? No, no, group oh, blind yeah. date? They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although... What, a year a ago? Thing? Did... did you say he was a legend? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. I don't know exactly what she meant by that. Okay. Let's see, what are we doing today? Sports clubs, culture clubs, but Chie, culture club, Yosuke. <sighs> huh. Probably culture club, right? I've only done one of those, right? Maybe I should go see if Marie wants to hang out too. I don't have, I don't have an Aeon card though yet. Oh, I should probably go into the shrine if I want to get 
Oh no, I need to drop off that fishing hook. Yeah. At least I think I can drop off the fishing hook. I mean, the dude was like, hey, do you have a fishing hook? And I was like, no. How the hell would I have a fishing hook? I don't even have a fishing rod. But I have a fishing hook now. Hopefully this leads me to get a fishing rod. Yes. I'd be grateful if you'd oblige me. Put it in his mouth. That sounds way wrong, Krotos. I know. My, you're willing to give me give that to a total stranger like me? I'm much obliged. I need you keep saying that. I need to thank you somehow. I do know. Do you fish? I want to. Just let me get this hook you found on and yeah, river rod. Oh, there's no need to be shy. I'm it's old and it's this was, a, this was a good opportunity, so I give up. I was planning on buying a new rod anyway. This is to show my gratitude. Have my junk. So I, I have a fishing rod now. I can fish. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna do that just now. What do I? Here? Yeah. Here. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll fish not next time, but at some point. Next time, I think we're gonna go ahead and hang out with. Uh, Probably the culture club. That seems smart. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head on my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's true you like. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on over to twitch.tv slash Plays. Give me a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.